the memorial service for a Gauteng nurse who was murdered in the car park of the Tembisa Hospital is set to get underway this morning. Lebohang Monene was killed last week, allegedly by her former boyfriend, a policeman. Manungelo Boy is live at the Tembisa Hospital now. He joins us live. Uh, Manu, good morning to you. It's a very uh, sad story, this one, and I imagine that uh, the fellow workers there, nursing staff, to everyone who witnessed this horrific incident must all be in shock. That's right, Scully. In fact, we are at Tembisa Christian Family Church. That's where the family and friends of Lebohang Monene are currently gathering. In fact, you can see that some of her colleagues are doing majorettes, really welcoming her family, Scully, here as they really here to remember Lebohang. As you rightfully pointed out, this is a woman who was shot and killed, we understand, several times by a man who had claimed to be her lover at some point. This is the man who was the father of, uh, you know, of one of her two children, who we understand clearly shortly after, you know, killing this young woman, he then attempted to take his own life. And of course, clearly, while we have not been able to speak to her colleagues and her family now, but one of the things that we have been hearing is that the relationship between the two was actually quite toxic and that at some point Ulebohang had in fact ended the relationship with the 30-year-old police officer who we know fully is still in hospital. He attempted to kill, to, to take his own life. But what will be happening fully today is that uh, Lebohang's family and friends and colleagues are, will gather here really to remember the person who she was. This is a person who we understand, who we have been told by some of the people that we've interacted with here just for the few minutes that we've been here describing here as a loving person, as a person who was passionate and dedicated uh, and dedicated her, her entire life really into helping others. But this is also solely a person who lives behind two children. So she'll be honored by her friends here this morning, here at the Tembisa Christian Family Church during that memorial service, which is expected to get underway, Koli, in a minute from now. Koli? Uh, Manu, it is definitely going to be an emotional one. Let's try and understand what the situation of the uh, alleged perpetrator of this crime, what is his condition in hospital? Because many would be keen to know whether he is going to get better soon so that he can stand trial for what he's allegedly done. Well, Kali, the last media report that I've read, in fact, while coming here, was that he is in stable uh, condition. Remember, shortly after the incident, he had to be uh, lifted to Mill Park um, Hospital. That's where he is receiving uh, treatment. One of the media reports that I was reading is that he is currently in a stable condition. So, Kali, as soon as really uh, he's ready to... Um, to you know, to stand trial. He will then be taken uh, to court. But I suppose, Koli, you know, the incident that happened last week has not only left this, you know, the, the staff at Tembisa Hospital um, angry and, and fearful, but it has also the incident sent really shockwaves to that particular hospital, to that, to, to that particular hospital community. Because if you remember, the hospital had to be closed for few hours as as the police carry out with their investigation, but also nurses at that particular hospital begin to attend, really, to their, to, 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 to their colleague who had passed away, and also the, 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 the accused, who they had to stabilize before he had to be airlifted fully to um, Mill Park Hospital, where he's currently receiving treatment. Tolly? Senior reporter Malungelo Boy, live for us in Tembisa ahead of that uh, memorial service.